guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Review. So today I'm extremely happy to bring you guys kind of a different video and something fun that I kind of did that I didn't really talk about doing with you guys. Like, I didn't tell you guys that I did it, I kind of just did it. Um, so I sent one of my friends here on YouTube, Kristen, aka Beauty Meow, um, kind of a care package. And Kristen's channel is amazing. She does reviews on more, like, niche and higher-end designer fragrances, um, and more like small batch stuff, her fragrances or reviews are amazing and she really wants me to try, like makes me want to try some of these really, really expensive fragrances that I could never afford and with something like that it would be very hard for me to blind buy, especially with the wheelhouse that I'm kind of in. And so I wanted to send her just kind of a little care package and what it was was just a bunch of little samples or like vials from my collection um, of just random celebrity fragrances that I felt were standouts or ones that I felt that she might like and I sent them to her and she did a whole video on it definitely go check that out I'll leave a link to that down in the description below she did an amazing video I'm so grateful for her she did a great great job with that I love it thank you so so much I'm glad you enjoyed them Kristen if you're watching this and just thank you again so um she sent me one in return and she sent me some more like higher end designer and niche samples of fragrances from her collection that she feels like I might like. So I actually have no idea what's really kind of all in this. I opened it up, I read the note that she gave me, but I didn't read the fragrance notes, like I didn't read what she sent, and I kind of haven't dug into this at all. So there is a little gift bag, and in this there's a little scent sample of Pent Halligans. I have not tried any of the Pent Halligan fragrances, and I'm probably butchering the name out of that. Um, but this is a, like, I think there's ten in here, yeah. There's ten little samples in here, and I have a zero nail, so I can't really get this open. Whew, yay. Okay. So, it's got this little card that tells you what's in there, and then there's little samples in there of all the different Penhaligon fragrances. I don't know if this is all of them, or if this is just some of them, um, but there are women and men fragrances in here, so I'm really excited to try all these. And then she did send me, as well... A uh, little sample of Jimmy or Jimmy Choo. Wow. Let's learn our words. Juliet has a gun. Mm. This is one that I have smelled because it did catch my interest, and I'm really excited to have this little travel sprayer of it because now I can actually wear it. This is a really, really nice fragrance. It's very different from anything I would smell. It has kind of like a lipsticky scent to it, which I kind of like that about that. So it's really, really nice and something a little bit different for me. And then she also sent me. Um, Derek Lam, 10 Crosby Street, uh, Crosby, Silent Street, let's put words in there. Um, this is a really, really soft, I want to say white floral, could be wrong on that one, but it is a very soft and, like, pretty scent. Not something I would wear on a daily basis, but something like this reminds me of, like, a rainy day or, like, just being cozy, and I really, really like that about this. Like, I get, like, dreary, British, like, street covered in rain when I smell this. That's what I think of. Maybe. Just, that's just me. But, this is the little sample bag that she sent with all the samples in here. So, they're all numbered, because I numbered hers, so she numbered mine. Um, I have no idea what they are. So, we're gonna dive in here and read what they are. So, the first one that she sent me is Creed Aqua Fiori. Notes are plum, apple, rose, bergamot, lemon, cedarwood, cedar, sandalwood, and grapefruit. Um, let's see which one is number one. Number one is right here. Here's number one. So this is Creed Aqua. I'm not sure that that second word is, and I don't want to completely butcher it. Ooh, okay, I really like this. I can definitely smell the plum. Ooh, and I can, I can smell that apple. Ooh, this is nice. It's very, um, fresh, and I really, really like that about this. It's really different. I like this. Very nice. Next one is Guerlain Black Perfecto. Notes are almond, cherry, tea, ro tea rose, leather, musk, tonka bean, and sandalwood. So excited to smell this because it has cherry in it, and I love cherry and I love almond. Let's sample this one. 
This room is going to reek when I'm done. Ooh. Ooh. That's interesting. Very, ooh. It's very deep and very dark. I can kind of smell the cherry in there. I definitely get, like, some of that almond. But, like, wow, this is very different. I'm gonna have to give this, like, a sample and, like, wear it and see how it wears. Because this is very, like, I could go to the club and people would want to know what I'm wearing. Because it's very mysterious. It's very, like, dark. And, like, ooh. Um, next is Toka Bianca? I think notes are lavender, citrus, rose, tea, jasmine, musk, and sugar. I think. Uh, let's see. Number three is this one. So this is Toka. Let's see what this one smells like. Ooh. Okay, so... Whoa. I don't know what it is in this. Maybe it's a lavender. So, when I was younger, the, like, the one of the people that I used to go to have, like, babysit me, or, like, my mom would drop me off and get babysat by, had this, like, fogger. You know what I'm talking about? It was, like, a dish, and then it had, like, a little glass piece in the middle, and you put water in it, and it, like, fogged out, and you could put, like, the lights on it. This reminds me of that. You guys know what I'm talking about? Like, am I completely crazy? Like, yes, no? no? I don't know if you've smelled this, but you know what I'm talking about with the fogger? Like, that's what this reminds me of. If I'm just the crazy one and no one knows what that fogger is, that's fine. Number four is... Ooh, okay. Number four is... Um... 416, 4160 Tuesday London's, which I know that is the one that... Um, she did, like, a collaboration with them. So, Oh My Soul is bergamot, lavender, honey, vanilla, sandalwood, rose, jasmine, benzoin, vetiver, myrrh, frankincense, musk, amber, and osiris. There's a lot of notes in there. Number four. I feel like this is going to be very complex with that many notes in here. Like, they just went on. And she's got beautiful handwriting, you guys. Like, I don't know if you guys can see this, but, like, beautiful handwriting. Okay, let's try that. Whoa, okay. My immediate, like... Sorry about that. Apparently, I got cut off. But, like, my first immediate reaction, and now it's different. Holy Jesus. My first immediate reaction when I smelled this was a 2 by 4 Like, that's what I thought, like... Pine, I don't know if pine was in here, but like, literally, I smelled like a 2 by 4 or like a wood shop. Like, that was my first initial thought, but it's very complex as well. I can get those kind of like spicy notes from the base coming through a little bit. It's very, very complex, and I don't want to like, this is one that I'm going to have to sit with. I can definitely tell that by this. It's very complex, but very mysterious as well. Next one is... Montal, Mo I, I don't know how to say this. It has notes of strawberry, almond, vanilla, musk, and Peru balsam. And that one is number five. Right here. Right? Yes, okay. Let's see what this one smells like. I'm excited because with notes like uh, strawberry as our top one, like hello, and I love almond as well, so... Whoa. I like this one. This is very, like, whoa. I can't even describe this. This one's so pretty. And it's changing as I'm smelling it. Like, it literally smells different than it smelled two seconds ago. This is very different. I like this a lot, though. Ooh, that's very nice. This is very impressive. Like, Strawberry and almond. I can definitely get the both of them, but wow, I like this one. Okay, next one is number six, and it's Xterra 
I'm not sure if I said that right, and it's hazelnut. Notes are milk, florals, vanilla, sugar, cocoa, and hazelnut. I do know that about this brand, like I've seen their stuff. They come in like video cassette ca cases like the perfumes do. I want to try so many of them. Uh, Trixie Mattel, uh, Pearl, I can't even think of all the ones. There's a bunch of queens who have done perfumes through them, and I want to try all of them. Like, definitely a brand I need to try, and I'm very excited that Helena is the first one that I have, like, am going to smell. Because this brand is very, like, mysterious and very, um... They're very cool. They're very different and very not mainstream. Like, there's stories behind everything. Everything has got to, like... I like the this idea behind this brand, so definitely something I want to try out more. So, let's see what this smells like. Whoa! Holy hazelnut. This smells like chocolate and hazelnut. This literally smells like i just been to a candy bar. This is good. And very, like, expensive candy bar. Because, like, you can smell expensive nuts. Like... That's, I like that. Mm, this is so good. This is probably my favorite. Oh, wow. This one's super good, you guys. It's very creamy and very, like, milky. Like, I can definitely get the milk. I really like this. It's very pretty. And it's something that doesn't really smell like, like a perfume either. Like, you wouldn't think that this is a perfume when you first smell it. Like, if you were like, what's that smell? Like, you would not think it was someone, like, around you. This is a good one. And the last one is Elizabeth and Arden Green Tea Nectarine. It has notes of peach, green tea, nectarine, bergamot, musk, nectarine blossom, and fruits. I'm very excited to try this one because I've not tried any of the green tea fragrances. And I really do actually like nectarines and um, apricots. Ooh. It is very light. But this one's very pretty. It's very, like, breezy. Like, it makes me think of, like, an open window with, like, a sheet blowing in front of it. It's really good, though. It's very light. Perfect for, like, summer or spring or just, like, very easygoing weather. These were all amazing. Thank you so much, Kristen, for sending me these. I'm s these are just so... I can't wait to try all of them on their own and sample them and wear them. It's just... Wow. So, if you are watching this video and you are sent from Kristen's channel, head, just head on down, leave a comment, and just leave a little kitty emoji. Let me know that you're here from her channel. Just be fun to see who came here from her channel. As always, guys, thanks so, so much for watching. As always, follow me on Twitter, A That's Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. Link in the description below. Also, go follow, go follow, words are hard to speak, uh, Kristen on all of her platforms. I will leave them down below as well.